all right so if now within your uh, systematic literature review if you do end up developing a conceptual framework or architecture or a model the write up of that model also has to have the same level of alignment or connection so the sub areas sub topics should align the that uh, the description of the sub topics should align with the the architecture or the conceptual framework that you have designed for example here you can see emergency situation is here phases is here application <coughs> uh, analysis and mobile data so this whole framework that they have come up with is represented in the text along the same headings go through the how they have uh, written this section for example emergency situations is the first one is here now talking about this part of the framework to identify the trends of research on emergency situations during the selected period uh, 65 articles were have been statistically analyzed by their published years and type of situations mentioned in each article the results are shown in exhibited in figure 2 so you can have something similar when you begin your writing emergencies can be divided into two categories natural and man made so natural and man made the natural refers to this man made refers to this uh, and so on and then they go and talk about how many papers were there in each category and then the examples of what a man made emergencies mean and so on so step by step one after the other the whole uh, framework is explained in a detailed manner Thank you.